here we are with another Woods Report. And tonight we are doing our recap or review or however we want to name it because we always throw our opinions in throughout the whole mm -hmm. thing of the Kardashian show on Hulu. Um, this is season one, episode eight. Okay. You know what? I started this video. I forgot to turn it off of um, the Comcast um, wireless to go to AT&T. So if we freeze y'all, stay with us <laughs> because I forgot to change it. We'll see if we freeze. Every time we go on to the um, Comcast, we freeze. Right, right. So hopefully we won't freeze tonight. If we do, just stay there. We'll just be like this. <laughs> For about <laughs> one, two seconds, and then it'll come back on. Okay. Okay. So the show starts off with Courtney. <laughs> Who are you laughing at? Because that's what it looks like. We be in mid-sentence. <laughs> and then we come back talking about something totally different uh -huh. than what we was talking about. I'm sorry. Okay. If in the future, I won't use the, the Comcast sign on. Okay. Okay. So we start off with Courtney talks about her cleanse. Uh, we still talking about this cleanse of her to do a fertility mm -hmm. with um, Kim. She's talking with her Kim, her sister. And Chloe and Chris. Oh, Chloe and Chris are there too. They talking about the sitting on the thing, um, sitting on that um, steam in the vagina thing mm -hmm. that she did the last episode mm -hmm. and trying naturally now. She wants to try naturally to have the baby. Okay. And she's going to move away from Ibitro for a little bit. Oh. So they want to see if they can have it naturally now. So thank goodness. But she's had babies before. Exactly. A lot of babies. So why is she doing and that? And he's had kids, you know, with, uh, with his wife. Why are they doing it this way? Why can't they just naturally? Well, that's what she said. They're going to go try to just oh, have okay. it naturally okay. or whatever. Okay. So they basically talked about, opened it up, talking about that and mm -hmm. um, should you steam the vagina and all this other stuff. And What does that do? Saying that that's weird. That, that's kind of what they was talking about. Like it cleanses. It makes what you, if they tell her what it does? Well, I guess energy and cleanse, you know, make you feel more energetic and cleanse so the So it's a more emotional thing, not so much. Uh, physical. I, mean, I think it has some physical things. But you guys the, look that up to see what is that. That causes does. the emotion. And then you can get like fragrances and all that kind of stuff. Like rose and petals so and all So it's putting you in a happy mood. Maybe. Yeah. Your, you know, I don't know. Right. Maybe it's re, re, uh, making you um, connect with your vagina <laughs> or something. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Remember vagina monologues? That play? Yes, they yes. should. That, they would probably talk about something like that on there. If they okay. redid that again, they would probably talk about <laughs> steaming your vagina or something. Okay. So they talked about that. Why they opened the show talking about that, I have no idea. But anyway, that's what they did. Okay. So now we go to Scott and Chloe. And, you know, Scott and Chloe are friends. Mm -hmm. And even beyond him being married to Courtney, she's always been the closest to Scott, I think, even okay. in the past episodes. Okay. Um, he mentions, um, they talk about how she lives across the street. So she's showing uh, Scott her new house. Very oh. beautiful home. Very beautiful home. And she lives right next door to Chris. Just in her name. Yes, this is her house, not Tristan, her house. <laughs> and she ha lives right next door to Chris, her mom. So she says she has, Where do they actually live? California, Calabasas. Oh, part. Calabasas. Okay. How far but, is that from, help, like, Hollywood and all that? I don't remember. You know, it's not that far. Okay. I, I have been to Calabasas, the app, but I don't remember how far. It wasn't that long. It wasn't that oh, far. From downtown, okay. you mean? Uh-huh. No, it's not that far. Okay. Um, it's far enough so you're not downtown because anybody has been in downtown LA you don't want to be living downtown LA okay so um, um, so she's showing her the she's, oh, showing, she's showing him the, the house, house okay. and talks about how she lives next door to her mom mm -hmm. and sometimes it's good because she's able to go over there and help her with stuff okay. and I guess Chris is getting older too so it's not a word. It's not. She had to go over there. Who gonna take care of when she? It's gonna be Chloe because Chloe lives right next door to her, and Chloe goes over there now and helps her. She said I had to help her do something, hang some, or do. She's over there now all the time. So, um, so she's beginning to be um Chris's favorite. So Chris, may whoever's in the in at that time, that's Chris's favorite. That's the running joke for the family. So he made a joke. Scott made a joke about how. Well, he made a comment about how. You know, um, everybody just loves to, you know, be next to each other. So Kanye, he got him a house next to, across the street from Kim. And Chloe didn't say anything. See, I think he was waiting on her to say something because everybody made such a big deal about him buying a house across the street oh. from Kim. And then he made a little snarl remark like, maybe I should buy a house across from, uh, Courtney and, um, Travis. <laughs> He was trying to be a smart a-hole. Okay, okay. Okay. And Chloe just didn't say she nothing. never said nothing? No. She wasn't <laughs> trying to add to that drama. Okay. So he was trying to get drama out of her, and she didn't make it. She didn't comment <laughs> off of it. 
Um, so then, um, so uh, she says. She's not on a diet because she actually shows her kitchen and her cabinets and she has all kind of candies and cakes and everything. Wow. She said, I don't want to be on a diet. I just work out all day. I work out so I don't have to be on a diet. Okay. But what she needs to know, I guess us two need to know too, mm -hmm. is more about diet too. It's not diet, but eating it's, healthy. Yeah, because if you eating bad and yeah. you're working out, it doesn't it's do maintaining. That's the fuel size. that you're putting in your body is not good. But I think they eat good too because they showed him eating other oh, stuff. Okay. She does eat good too. Okay. But I agree with her. I'm going to have snacks too. I'm not going to get rid of everything. Yeah. Items. Michael, so, you check the fish while you're in there. Yeah. Okay, so um, basically that was it. Okay. Um, and she invited Scott to go. She was getting ready to go over to her mom's house. I can't believe they asked you talking about the salmon or the other one. Okay. We are on live talking about the Kardashians. I smell it. I smell it. You want to just go get up and get it? Well, let me see why you talking. I can't believe this. Uh -huh. And then the, first, the number thing, the one thing is she made a comment. And asked her about the fish, and then they have my mom return the reply, and then have Lenora go back and talk. They're having a full conversation about the fish while we on live TV talking about a show. Oh my goodness! But anyway, y'all. Oh my goodness. So then Chloe asked Scott if he would come over to um, Chris's house with her so they could talk about the master class that Chris has been invited to talk about. And master class is a television show where you kind of invite professionals over mm -hmm. and they kind of tell you how they became, uh, became, um, um, what is it? Um, not rich, but I, then you are rich, I guess. Uh -huh. But how you became, um, journey on yeah, journey. how you became a wealthy and rich oh, okay. and all that okay. other stuff. Okay. A success, your okay. success story. Mm -hmm. So, um, Scott said he agreed to do that. All right. So now we go over to the sisters working out, Kim and Chloe. Um, they start talking about how they baby the men in their family. The now all the men, every man. They, in other words, they kind of because it's always been a running joke that the men in their in the family are weak. Like they are, or they destroy the men in their ah, family. Like if like you get with a Kardashian, was like that? well, they saying them. See, they couldn't do that to him. We can't say nothing about Jenner. Well, all they saying is every man that come in their life end up something happening to them. You see what I'm oh, saying? Wow. So okay. they starting to think man, instead of it being a Kardashian curse, maybe we just baby these men and make them not have to do anything. What do you think? Do you think they baby them? I don't think that they baby them. I think that they clone themselves to these men. Like, they're never, they always, like, when Kim was with, with whoever she with, yeah. she clones herself to him. What do you mean? Or, like, like okay, like, even Chloe. When Chloe was with, um, what's his name, the, the was on drugs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the basketball player. Basketball mm -hmm. player. Mm -hmm. Can't think of his Odom. name now. Odom. Lamar Odom. Uh -huh. She baby like like um he was on drugs and stuff. So the rather than do a like hard a, like, like a crutch, like a crutch, they wasn't trying to. Rather they than enabling him, enabling. Rather than oh. like no, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm done with you. Down. I'm done with you. If you keep doing drugs, they right. more like well let's get get help and let's do, oh, and even Rob, him. they cuddle Rob. They, Rob is baby. He's like. Dude, you know, you, you're you not a man unless you're able to stand on that's your true, own. That's true. So maybe they are right. Maybe they got something to that. You know, I don't know. But anyway. Have you ever seen them not like that? Are they like that with women, with their each other, more so than men? It's like some women, you know how women, we would have conversations with women would talk a lot of game and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then when a presence of a man comes... A woman changes. They don't have and that. And some women are like that. They just, they, you, you looking at them like, girl, you know you wouldn't do that. Yeah, girl. yeah. Why are you acting crazy because he here? Or well, something? they, like, like him let Kanye come in and just throw all her clothes out and totally dress her. That's what I'm saying. They just kind of like whatever, they clone to whatever is it, it is. Is that bad to say that word submissive? No, it's beyond submissive. It's, it's, it's yeah, beyond. but that was kind of talking about it, like they trying they're to think, starting to re they realizing it now. There's something going on here. Wow, the way that okay. we the men are in our lives. Okay, Kardashian. Um, okay. so then she they talk about that. Um, they talk about they hand feed them. Moving forward, they said mm -hmm. they won't allow that negative energy 
and um, the man we can't get see. we will see. and the man need to get out of the fetal position with them. That's what they said. Okay. So then we go on to Courtney and she uh, they bring in Gwyneth Paltrow, the actress. Okay. So Gwyneth Paltrow. What they bring her for? She comes in and she wants. She sits down with Courtney, and apparently they both have a wellness line, a wellness oh, line. Okay. And um, they want to collaborate. Okay. So this is the first time I've seen Gwyneth Paltrow on the show. So mm. that's having a big time um, actor, actress yeah. on the show. Okay. Um, They've been kind of connecting with a lot of um, other groups, like they do the Property Brothers because mm-hmm. they the mom's friend. Oh, you saw them with them? Yeah, they they well the Property Brothers has a show out now with different um, entertainers. Okay. Um, I O U is okay. what it's called. People in their lives that they want to do something special for with renovating their home okay. or something. Okay. So the mom has a friend. Um, whose husband passed away, I believe. Okay. And has an, a pool that has been cleaned up. Oh, like Chris has his friend. Yeah, Chris, oh, the okay. mom. So and they, they, go over and they all went over oh, there with the property okay. brothers and renovated the house. So they starting to pull that in their show Okay, now. so they do, yeah, they do a more with this show. Them. Okay. So basically her and Gwyneth Paltrow just sit down and talk about how mm-hmm. they can collaborate with each other. Okay. And then they talk about how women normally are pit against each other when they have businesses and if they're in the same lane. Then people would be like, oh, y'all got to be in competition. And they was like, we shouldn't be in competition. Mm-hmm. We should be more like working with each other you to kind of make with, each other look that better. That ain't going to always happen. Right. So in this, in other, here's the thing. It ain't going to always happen. If that wasn't Gwyneth Paltrow, I don't believe Courtney would be sitting down across from another wellness lady talking saying. to her. Yeah. So it's something so, she's getting from that. Yes. You Gwyneth that, Paltrow. That, that, that famous name yeah. sometimes yeah. Yeah. Our, our earns respect right away. So it was good they was talking about all the female stuff, but we both know that if, if, if Gwyneth Paltrow wouldn't be talking to her if she wasn't Courtney, and Courtney wouldn't be <laughs> talking to her if she wasn't Gwyneth. But it was nice to hear them talk about women empowerment. Okay. 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 So now we go to Kim and Chris. Um, um, oh, uh, Kim coming to Chris's house, admiring the organized refrigerator. Mm-hmm. They have a clear refrigerator. I love those refrigerators. Oh, it was clear, clear, and you could see it in it, and it was organized. Like everything was so nice. I, and I want a clear refrigerator. If it's organized, it looks nice. So, and that's kind of what Kim was saying. It's organized. Is that? Is it, I'm laughing at uh, the house with. Uh, Housewives of Atlanta when they uh-huh. said white white refrigerator. Oh, what's the name? Tell my Nini had a white refrigerator. <laughs> Look, we got a white refrigerator. So white refrigerator so means you you cheat. You, you, yeah, you you poor <laughs> or you don't have no money or whatever. <laughs> okay, I just thought about that when you said clear. I think I saw uh, Cardi B. Um, she, she got a walk in. One? No, she got a walk in refrigerator. What? Yeah, like a freezer. Like a freezer, but it's like a refrigerator. A um, but it's a refrigerator. What I was like, hell? that's nice. That's that's rich, rich. That's nice. It's I'm a walk in. Why would you want to walk in? It's big. Day. Like a freezer. But you can get stuck in there. Well, the door I, break. You can get stuck in the freezer. Kid. No, you can't. Well, well whatever. The freezers that be outside that's lying in the ground. But I would hate for her kid to go in there. No, no, these are rich people. They kid ain't, they're so big. The door are like rich people. But back in the day when OJ Simpson's babies uh, drowned in the swimming pool. Yeah, but people put guards up and stuff. So I'm sure there's a guard okay. on the refrigerator. Walk in refrigerator. Yeah. Okay. So, so they start talking about, um, Kim was talking about driving mm-hmm. one day. And um, Mason, which is Courtney's son, mm-hmm. and her daughter, Wes, was in the back playing and talking. Okay. And Mason made a comment to North that um, he was excited because he was getting ready to go to Travis um, gym or something, to play or something. And then he made a comment that um, he was happy about his mom marrying her, uh, marrying his mom, I mean, marrying him. him, and that he was like... Um, even though people think stepdads is bad because of the Disney and stuff like that, the stepmom and the stepdad, <laughs> that he don't, he's not a bad they stepdad. Like him, so they like, like him. him. Okay. So that gave Kim, and North was taking it all in. Okay. So guess where, where's Kim's mind going? If I get remarried, is how am is I West, gonna take to? Are they gonna take to my well, new you're husband? Not gonna act up. Well, here's the thing. The thought of another man being their dad. She said that North was taking in everything that he said, and I called her West. It's North, Girl, right? I don't know, North, yeah. West, East, South with them kids. Her name is North. I called her West. Their last name is West. Um, North was taking in everything he was saying, mm-hmm. and she was liking that he was liking his, his new okay. stepdad. Okay. So Kim was getting hope that because of that, she could introduce a new cup, a new person. So she was... 
I think personally, for, but she got a different husband. But she made that comment, and this is my my prediction. Mm -hmm. I think Kim and Pete are engaged, you and think I think they so? get married. You're I think kidding. so. You I think they're secretly. I think they're secretly engaged. You heard it here first on the Woods Report. Only what three people watching? Anyway. <laughs> You heard it here first. Why you think that Because people going to go back and look at our videos. I don't think he People, was. once we become famous, people will go back and look at our old videos. So, when, whoever's coming back to I look at this. June 3rd, we said I'm here. saying that Kim and Pete are engaged, secretly engaged. Well, he's ready to be married? Well, hold on. He left SNL. His last um, day was Saturday, last Saturday. Wow. And... He talked about moving to California. Why would he do all that if he's not engaged to her? And then why is she making all these comments about um, her kids having to have now, with somebody else? Show has been pre-done. Right, so they, I think they're engaged now. I think back then they was just dating. You see what I'm saying? Okay. This has been months, so they've okay. had plenty of time. Wow. And then also she made a comment about how she follows Courtney. And she said, my life always kind of follows Courtney. She mirrors her. Courtney got pregnant, then she get pregnant. Courtney get married, she get pregnant. Mm -hmm. Well, so she thinks, even though she's been married 16 times, but this new marriage. <laughs> okay. Courtney's ready to be married now to the God love of her life. Okay. So I guess that's Kim's way of saying, wow. this is me getting married to the love of my life or whatever. Wow. So you heard it here first. That's my opinion. Wow. Um, okay. So that's so what I think. Quit SNL. Yeah. Wow. How she long still, was he on there? Do you know? years but he wasn't hardly on a lot of shows he oh. did more the music stuff okay um so i think and then uh pete is opposite of kanye his personality that don't everything make sense about to me him. okay so let's slow down here she's had how many guys i don't know and and married or what you talking about been, when been married, with or married married, married. three okay because don't i'm trying to think like common sense unless she's just trying something new usually you're attracted to the same kind of person but if you keep insanity is doing something over and over again and expecting a different result. Well, perfect. if you're attracted to the same type of man and it hasn't worked well, no, out. No, no, I'm not talking about the attraction of the ugly side of them. I'm talking about the things that you got, you, you like. Like you are attracted yeah. to men that are funny. You're attracted to men that are smart. Right. You're attracted to men that are, they feel good about themselves. But not the ugly side of I'm Kanye. I'm sure there's some things. So how is this man totally different than Kanye? I think there's some things that's probably similar to them. Because think about it, they both entertainers. So there has to be something about Chris, uh, I mean not Chris, Pete, Pete, that is similar to Kanye. Okay. As far as the things that they have in common. Okay. And th But then there's things they don't have in common, and I think that's the part she's trying to change. So sometimes you think you can date different people and have a bits of each person that yes. you like and yes. don't like. If, the, they, if you take the good of all the four men you're with, you about, have the perfect man for there you. There are things about two dudes that you know in my life that are similar, but there are things that are polar opposites. Yes. Sorry. Yes. So, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again yeah. and expecting a different okay, result. Okay. So, I had to say to myself, I want the exact opposite. So, imagine what I don't like about that other person, I want this new person to have those traits. It's the exact opposite. Other things I don't with the, like. With the both of them, if you had the good in both to oh, make, yeah, make yeah. up the man, he would be pretty much close to perfect. Yeah. We know there's no perfect. No, because he's going to have a whole other set of things that you're probably not going to like. Uh -huh. But the things I know I don't like, uh -huh. I'm not going to repeat that again. Okay. So you have somebody that's a bossy man and it drove you crazy. Why would you date another bossy man? Yeah. That makes no sense. You want to try to get away from him that But he may man. have other stuff that's wrong. It ain't going to be bossy. It, I think it's I'm like, crossing that off the you list. Prioritize exactly. what you can deal with. Yes. I can yes. deal with his messiness and his shoes yes. on the floor. But not bossy. But him cussing me out and calling me out my name. No, no. no. Exactly. Okay, I get it. And, and Pete doesn't try to like control her. He don't care what she wear, according to her. So oh. he, do, he don't have to wear makeup. Well, look how he dressed. Well, exactly. Ex well, Kanye can't dress, but exactly opposite. <laughs> Kanye thinks he can dress because he's a fashion guy. Yeah, yeah okay. Like but we all know his stuff. clothes look like slave clothes. Well, I like them. But him. anyway, I like some she of like them. But look at Kanye's shoes. Some of the shoes out, out there but are the really clothes, different. You like the clothes? I haven't seen the clothes. You need to look at the clothes. Okay, I'll look. I'll look. Okay, so. But some of the stuff is nice. Mm -hmm. He has pieces. Different. Different pieces. items. So, okay. Okay, so. Um, but see, I think with him, he's bipolar. 
That's not fair. Who's that to do with his fashion? No, his his, his sports personality. I'm going back to what we said earlier. Oh, no, no that was him. That has nothing I mean, to do with that. if he's on meds, he's No, fine. that has nothing to do oh, with that. Oh, you don't think? No. His personality? No. Well, it no. does. It does. It can play into it. Yeah, it can play into it. I agree with that. So yeah. having a mental um, illness can play into yeah, it. Yeah, how you But react. there are certain things about Kanye that's just him. <laughs> It has nothing to do with okay. that. Trying to play on that. Okay. Okay. So Chris said it's good to try something new. So she's for that. Okay. Doing something new. Um, and then they talked about bad mouthing um, your parent, the parent of the, the other parent of the child. Oh, if you're not with. So me she anymore. said she doesn't want to bad mouth because her kids. Mm -hmm. And anytime you have kids, you shouldn't bad mouth. The other parent. Yeah. People don't follow that. Yeah, they do it all the time. And mean they were. But people do it all the time. They bad mouth. You know, if you're not with the father, they'll bad and mouth father the father. Is no good. Yeah. And, so, oh. and I think we talked about this on another show we sure that we did. did. We I don't sure remember did. what show, but we not talked to, about that. Not to say that in front of them. Don't say negative stuff about the other parent in front it's of them. And remember, spirit. I said if you do. Follow it up with something good. Yeah, at least do balance it out. Balance it out. Your dad is yeah. good at this, but he yeah. still needs help. So yeah. He still needs help with yeah. finances because he does yeah. he uses money too much. Or separate. He's arrogant, but, but he's smart. But you he's know what I'm saying? Do stuff follow yeah. up with something. That's hard for some parents because they just really don't like I know, them. I know. Yeah. So then we go back to Chloe and Scott. Now they go to um, Chris' um, house mm -hmm. to help her get prepared for her master mm -hmm. class. Yep. She has a fake Emmy on her desk. And Chloe starts laughing, going, "When did you win an Emmy that I don't know?" What's that? with the fake? Emmy? And she said, "That's a fake Emmy." And then her, and she said, "No, it's not. This is a real Emmy that Kim got for me. She bought it at an auction." So Chloe said, "So that's a real Emmy." She said, "That's a, someone's real Emmy." Is there a name? She, on it? Yeah, but she said, "But it's not yours." And then, <laughs> and then Chris was like, "It's mine. I bought it." So she and I was just like, "The same way people do with hair. It's my hair because I bought it." But no, that is not. The no, she said, an Emmy. she said, "But no, I have it here as, as inspiration." Whose Emmy is it? Though? I don't know. They didn't show that. How you get an Emmy at an auction? People sell the Emmy. If you are a celebrity, and you need money. You would sell I'll your would Emmy and warrant. Yeah, I want my Emmy. Yes, I would. I know no if you ain't got no money? No. Yes, I would. Uh, there's other ways to make money. I'll sell an Oscar. I'll do some uh, Uber driving it's or something. Uh, are you ready to be an Uber driving and sell an Emmy? how hard it is to get one? It doesn't matter. Your name is in the book. You got one. If I don't have no money and I'm a celebrity, I'd rather sell you my Emmy. have to be down to the... It's a lot of gutter. Are you going to say it's not a celebrities out there that won awards as poor? You don't see many Emmys at an auction. Come on now. How many? Michael Jackson bought like an Oscar from somebody. I would buy Every it. blue moon. Oh, and you forget. You keep thinking of the top tier names of Emmys. It could be somebody who won Best Lighting or something. We got, an Oscar. we got an Emmy for um, um, like the um, Awakening. Yeah. It could be somebody no, I think in possible was gonna get that one away. It could be somebody in light lighting or the second crew of makeup or something oh, that could have an Emmy. You assuming, okay, yeah, okay. you assuming it's like the name. Okay, but still, yeah. yeah. oh, that Emmy. Well, oh anyway. my God! So they go there. She okay. makes jokes about that. Mm -hmm. Um, and she, and um, Chris is like. Should I do the master class? Do am I do I have something to say that people want to hear? Mm -hmm. And Chloe said, Yeah. And she said, I can let people know how we built this empire. So that's what they talk about. And they're um, gonna be truthful about that. They're gonna be truthful. And here's the thing with Chris. And I don't care whether you like the Kardashians or not. Okay. Chris to me is like EF Hunting. When she speak, I want to listen. <laughs> because I wanna know how did you build how all your daughters is almost billionaires. You literally built from the ground up. You have, she's not going to tell everything, obviously. We know right, right, there's right. some stuff in there they're just not going to say. But I want to hear some Where of the things that she had to say. for them? Because we know their dad and his history. Well, Where did it actually begin? At Kim, the sex tape. Because remember, Kim was hanging with so um, that's Paris Hilton and stuff. If you're saying in your mind... That's how it all began. Putting that name out. How there. did how did Chris? Who's gonna do that? No, but you can all you can learn how to use whatever it is that comes at you for your. Benefit. But in all honesty, it's kind of like when Kim got slammed for making that comment about oh women get up off the lazy, lazy, lazy butt. Oh butt, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody that, didn't start off as a Kardashian. That Kardashian name was already with OJ Simpson. I agree. So we were following that name. But there are And then when her tape came out, that even built that name. But there are some things you can learn from Kris Jenner. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So some of the things that she said is always be willing to walk away. 
I tell you that. I tell you that all the time. Mm -hmm. From true. any negotiation, always be willing to walk because away. Because if, if you people can. know you can walk away, you you are. It's not so much as even them knowing you can walk away. If you know you can walk away, you go into that negotiation way different. Would you say that for uh, pretty much everything in your life, kind of? Like everything. Buying a house, buying everything. a car. Everything. I can always walk away. If you can walk away from walk it. Walk away You're from not, it. You're not. Even if it's something I it. really want. I can walk away from it. That's true. Because that it. shows that you're not enslaved to I'm it. I'm not you're enslaved. Not, I and you're not going to live and yeah. breathe and die. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. No. Always be willing to well, walk people away. People have a problem with that with habits. Yeah. That's a hard so to walk So she talked away. about all money is not good money. That's true. She said never burn a bridge because you have to walk back over it. That's hard um, for some people. Look what Monique doing. People burn bridges Monique all the time. Burning every bridge she can think of. Yep. You can't do that. Now. And you gotta walk back over the bridge. You burnt that. Monique ain't thinking there. She's trying to find another way around it. Yeah. That's what it is. Um, you meet the same people on the way up that you meet on the way down. Pretty we much. always hear that. Pretty much. Never go. And then this was the main one that they titled the theme at. Never go against the family. I think that's her number one thing. Because everything Chris talks about is family. Mm -hmm. Family, family, family. Did you know that she said she got that from Rob Kardashian? He said that. Never go against the family. Oh, really? Always make family number one and be concerned about your legacy. So I believe, and again, I tell you, they don't tell you everything the Kardashians do. Mm -hmm. People don't like the Kardashians. Because I don't know why. Why do you say that? Because they will, they will burn you down if you come at their family. But when you hear that your father said that and your father has passed on, mm -hmm. You gonna hold that? You gonna be like, never go against the family. If somebody, and we kind of like that. I can talk about my family, mm -hmm. but if but you talk about my talk family, about them, yeah. I will whoop and you up and down the street. And that's true because no matter how true that is that they're saying, exactly, you don't want to hear them say it. I don't want to hear nobody my, say nothing my, about nobody in my family, family member. I can talk about my cousin, but if you talk about my cousin, right. I'm going to whoop it's your butt up and down the street. I can talk about um, my mom or you, uh -huh. or you can talk about me. Yeah, you do. But if somebody else talk about you, <laughs> it's on and popping. That's true because I never understood when people do say something um, bad about your family member. To you! And you just be quiet. That's still kind of condoning it. And it's saying a is lot that, about you. Or would you say that? That's, that's a, you're a, that's you're that's not condoning comment. it. No, no. Okay, I don't so think you're, that up. I don't think you're condoning it, what but you, if you don't feel like it rises to the occasion for you to make a big thing so about it. you don't think it. you need to say anything. To me, that means your family is not number one to you. But that's you how think, I feel. I guess the, the comment is, do you need to say something, though? Yes. If you say something about my family, okay. I'm going to say something back. And not just and, be quiet because you don't want, you want to also... If you're trying to please them exactly, for whatever reason, exactly. you may be but quiet you and you're do, like, Ooh, when you do that, this? is you allow people to start building and saying, if I got away with that, I can, let me build I can on. Keep. But if you make it where people say, ooh, don't, girl, don't say nothing. If you say something to them, one of them browns, mm -hmm. get a, oh. Dope, even that's though all they, the browns even though your the browns, house. Even though the browns fight each other. <laughs> the Hatfields and the McCoys. You better not mess with the Hatfield. They could be in there shooting each other, but right. if you come over and shoot a Hatfield, it's hey. all and happening. And they all turn and shoot you because you you messing with the. Family. Oh, we gonna come together. We can hate each other, but we gonna come together, together just to destroy you. That's true. So I think that people don't like the Kardashians, have but I think that's their mindset. Have they been consistent with what she's saying? Oh, you, oh no, no, some of the stuff. Don't burn bridges. Don't do this. They the Kardashians have burned so many bridges. But this is Chris's thing on this is what you're supposed to say. Okay. The only thing that I'm telling you, that's why I said the last thing she said that I believe they have held to mm -hmm. is never come up against the family. Because mm -hmm. they will burn you down if you come up against their family. What's going on with the son? Rob, he's just chilling. He's staying out of the way. He would, he would um, China um, sued him and yeah. his family. Did she win? And the only time, no. He, he came out just so he can be on the stand but rob don't like to be in all of that the public and all of that oh, stuff okay. so he stays out of the way okay so now we go to um courtney's house and the sisters are working out courtney kim and chloe mm -hmm. kim talks about the cover of sports illustrated that's coming up that mm -hmm. she's getting ready to be on only she's her. proud no no you're thinking of vogue you thinking of the oh vogue. there was the vogue one which, yeah. is, which is this one this is sports illustrated oh like they show you in the bathing suit and stuff yeah okay she says she's proud that she's in her 40s and she's still able to be on the cover. And she believes she's the first Armenian woman to be on the cover. 
Um, did you know our main, uh, some of them, they don't believe they white. Like, they don't consider mm -hmm. themselves white. They're Middle Eastern. Mm -hmm. We were with Armenians when we were in um, Czech Republic. So when you hear white people it say, category, when you hear uh, not white, when you hear black people a, say, a neighborhood of Kanye was with a white woman, she don't consider herself no, probably our, white. Are the Armenians, um, the gypsies, too? Yeah, they can be. They can be gypsies. Yeah. Because we, we were in a, a, a community of gypsies mm -hmm. um, with Armenian. I guess if that's the mm -hmm. truth, now forgive me if we're wrong. But um, I think that they are Armenian, but right. a lot of them were looked, they're looked down upon yeah. in Czech Republic. Yeah. So maybe that's why they consider themselves. Right, right, right. You know, They don't consider themselves white. And I guess if you're in Czech, mm -hmm. which is white people. They stick out. Like Russians. Yeah, they stick they out. They don't consider them white. They don't. Hey, that's, that's something. Mm -hmm. I just thought that was interesting. Because if you think there. about the... Because I always say Kim is a about, white woman and she don't consider But think about the fair white. skin of your people from Ireland and mm -hmm. from all those places and even Czech Republic mm -hmm. and, and Slovakia in comparison to their browner skin. Right. They're more tan. Yeah. More, they're yeah. not that lily white, bright red right, hair. Right. So, so, yeah. I don't know. Okay. So then after they finish working out, they all eat a salad. Mm -hmm. Now, the running joke for the Kardashians, if you watch them for the years, is they always eat salads. So they understand that that's a running joke. And they said, I, they were shaking up their salads and cleaning them and stuff and eating it and making the fun of that people was like, we know how y'all love watching us eat our salads. Okay. So they know that's a running joke that everybody makes fun of them because they always eat Why? salad. Why though? Because they always eat salad. You never see them eat anything else, just salad. <laughs> but on this, this year, I guess they started to show they eat other stuff. Other vegetables? Just salad. They eat all kind of salads. Salmon salad or chicken pasta salad, salad, or salad or pasta salad. All salad. salad. Okay. So they wanted to make a joke about that, I okay. guess. <laughs> um, then Chloe and Kristen, um, oh, Chloe says her and Kristen are good. Are good. The, if, if she could fast forward to now, mm -hmm. back then they was good. They're working on it. They're, he's moved into the house. They having a great time. Okay. Does he have kids from other... Hey, does he have kids? He's had kids on Chloe. Does he have kids? I mean, how many kids? <laughs> I know he had kids on Chloe. How many baby mommies does he have? Three now. Because wow. he has the one that Chloe stole. Well, he's not as bad as, um, what's the one that wears a turban? Who? Oh, uh, Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon. <laughs> but Nick Cannon ain't having them like Tristan, though. Okay. Tristan having them on folks. Oh, Nick, Nick is Cannon with, is with you. He's telling he's one. We're gonna have a child. And then he breaks up. And then he's according with to him, though, he said he's done. It's over. <laughs> it's done. Apparently, he's starting to. Uh, I don't okay, know why he, he didn't follow Abraham. That's because he is. keeps saying, "Oh, it's about quality, quality." Dude, how much quality can you have when they all near the same age? They all gonna have baseball at the same time, <laughs> softball at the same time, <laughs> volleyball at the same time. You can't go to all the games at the, they live in different cities. They don't right. live in the same house. You can't be a father no, to on. all of them at that same so time. So I hope he's right when he says he's done, but I don't think he is. Okay. Okay. So now we have, um, uh, the cooks is working out, like I said. Kristen mm -hmm. and Chloe are okay, mm -hmm. according to Chloe. Okay. Kim finally tells, um, her and, um, that her and Pete are together and tells everybody how she tells Courtney and Chloe, um, Chloe how Pete and her met. This is the big moment everybody was waiting on. They never how did knew? they? Nobody never knew. How did they meet? How did they start dating? How did this thing start up? Right. Okay, so she says she does SNL, right? Mm -hmm. And then the skit, she kisses him in the skit that you see. Mm -hmm. She says she felt a little tingly when she kissed him. He wasn't thinking nothing about her, according to her, right? So then, after the show, there was an after party. Mm -hmm. They always have an after party for the host of the show. Okay. She said Pete didn't come to the after party. So she was like, hmm, more intrigued. So then she said she heard that Pete, uh, Pete has a large, you know what? Mm -hmm. He has a big like the one. guy from Grey's Anatomy, a PDE, because they've been talking about him on stage. Oh yeah, uh, Williams <laughs> <laughs> on the stage. That, that stage show that he's one in. thing about him. That's all they've been talking about. That he has a big one. Here's the thing with him, though. What? <laughs> <laughs> My mom laughing. This is the thing with him. He's fine. <laughs> Yes, he is. So how dare you be fine, rich, and have one? He was like, it's just. <laughs> How and dare you? Every man gonna hate him. Said that, um, Sonny said on the View, my friends, they they bought tickets for that show. They want he's to see that show. divorce. And he was like, why did his wife divorce him? Well, <laughs> whatever. Well, okay. All right, but Pete, no. Pete, yes. Uh -uh. Okay, so 
He's not cute. So she said she wanted to find, you know, she, she wanted to have some fun. Him. She chased him. Hold on. She wanted to have some fun. She's Kim Kardashian. Why you chase anybody? The part that everybody kind of missed when she said this, uh -huh. Kanye was at SNL. He was there that night when she hosted the show. When was he and he though? left. They said he got mad and left when she did the skit and kissed Pete Davidson. Oh, okay. Well, no wonder he's mad. If she talking about she was feeling a tingly thing, and that's his wife. Oh, even though they, they were separated, married. even though they were separated, <laughs> forgetting that they together. Exactly. Still. Even though they were separated. Even though they was. Home. Even though they were separated. I'm glad she didn't say it loud. <laughs> Did she say it loud? Yes, she did. She did. <laughs> my, all right, my. See you later. Roll on out. Roll on out, my. Oh, my mother. Why y'all doing this? Why y'all having these side conversations while we live? Just go. Just out of here. Is your stuff done? Is your stuff done? We're going to tell y'all what my mother said. I'm going to tell it. I bought my mom. You want me to tell it? No, not that. You don't have to say the details, but just say the general. Which no, is, because it won't make sense unless I tell the whole no, thing. No, because it could be anything. It could be any re, any. <laughs> no, that doesn't make sense. No, because that would that would not that wouldn't be nice. Because that would be saying you know. <laughs> well, don't worry about it. All right, Ma, roll out. <laughs> See you later, Ma. It was yeah. just underwear. Anyway, <laughs> underwear. Uh, she was asking where her underwear were. <laughs> okay. In other words, on live television. Okay, so. Uh, um, Pete, uh, I mean, Kanye and Kim were married, even though they were separated, kind of. I can see why what? he would be mad a leaving lot SNL. Of couples, a lot of couples do that separation thing. But they trying to get back together or whatever. I don't know, but when they do that separation thing, they like anything goes for that moment. Right, you think right. I'm separated from her, I'm not living with her right now. Some men go out and have a baby. So maybe they start another relationship. You not divorced. Maybe you just separated. Right. So that's why he probably felt mad when she had a connection with Pete. Whatever. Oh, okay. I don't know. Okay. I can't and get it. Kanye trying head. to figure out why. Well, what is she seeing him? So she said Pete had some PDE, mm -hmm. and she was D D F. What is it? D T F. What is that? Down for F. Oh Lord. Okay. Okay. Mm. Um, anyway, so whatever. Okay. So then she, a few days later, she calls the pr uh, producer of the show mm -hmm. and she said, can I get Pete's number? And the producer said, sure. She gave her Pete's number and she texts Pete and he texts her, he texts her back and they hooked up. That's okay, how they, so I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, here's my thing. A lot must have gone on for them to separate. And what's going on in that relationship for you to just now well, start running after somebody else? Well, remember he wanted her to move to uh, Wyoming Well, I know the whole Christian thing, too, right? Or the something. Soul, Jesus, and she's not dressing holy. I don't know where he would get that from Jesus. because the two women he's been dating lately ain't been dressing holy. So I don't know where. I don't know where he got that from. He's taking his meds or something. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Um, so she, DTF, that's what it was. She was down for DTF. Okay. Um, down to you know what. Mm -hmm. So she said that this is the first time she's had a normal relationship and she's happy. So the now, other guys were even though she went on came on to Pete, apparently Kim talks to Megan Fox. Megan Fox and uh dates um Machine Gun Kelly, who's best friends with Pete. Oh. Machine Gun Kelly and Pete Davidson are best friends. They are? Yes. Okay. And Machine Gun Kelly dates Megan Fox. You remember her, the movie actress? Mm -hmm. And the, um, the, the machines that come to, that move Transformers? Transformers. She was yeah. in the first Transformer movie. Okay. Real yeah. pretty with blue eyes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So apparently she's friends with Kim, Kim Kardashian. Kardashian. Okay. And, Kim, and she told Kim when Pete and, um, Kim started dating, Girl, months earlier, Pete asked me to give you his num give him your number. So he did was after he her. well he wanted Kim. He was interested, okay. And she said she told him no because you don't have a chance in hell to get with Kim Kardashian. Oh. She's here and you're and you're here. Okay. So he never pursued it after that. But even the fact that she's still married though. They was separated. See Well that's separate. That word separation Exactly. It's almost like you feel you're divorced. Right. Because you're separated. And but they've been dating anymore. now for over a year and a, and a half now It's or been that long? It's been that long. So Kim and Kanye must have been separated for a long time. Wow. So okay. um, 
Because then when this came out, this was months ago. See, they've been separated when for a while. they separate after the fourth kid or whatever? I don't know. Probably all that time when he moved to Wyoming and then she kept coming out there to get the marriage, to try to get the marriage to work and he didn't want to deal with her. That whole point. He said that they was trying to um, kill him as a black man and called Chris, said that he was in a sunken place. He just put them through the ringer. He called his, his her mom all kind of names in the book, all that. Well, why would she know the background of him and still be with him, get with him? That's what I'm saying. Trying to still, that goes back to our earlier conversation. Still trying to stay with somebody and make it and, and pet and making them soft, you know, okay, it'll be all right. Be Maybe they're right. Maybe they need to stop insane. that. Okay. okay. So then she said, Pete is humble and he's genuine. Um, she says she's happy just watching TV for the first time with somebody mm -hmm. and doing nothing sometimes. And they work out together. She said he didn't used to work out. Now he works out. She got him working out. Um, How long is this going to last? We watch I told you they're going to get married. Entertainers come together. They be, they be together for so many but months. But I told you they're going to marry. That don't mean nothing. She talks about how the one thing, the funny thing they have in common is what nobody would ever think. They both care about skin care, about pimples and things like that. She said one night she was over there and she had a pimple that was coming. And she had a photo shoot or something the next day or something. <laughs> this is real story, y'all. And she fell asleep. And she said he put some pimple cream on her pimple in the middle of the night. That's when it. she woke up, it was gone. That was it. She was in love. He was so concerned that she fell asleep because she was gonna put it on there before she fell asleep. He put it on there <laughs> in the middle of the night while she was asleep. Women, men would would think about putting pimple cream on there. <laughs> See, I like they'll wake you up and say, "Hey, don't you gotta put some pimple stuff on your face?" Oh, That's thank you for waking like, me, honey. I forgot. I like Pete Davidson, though. I do like Pete Davidson. He seems like an okay guy. He seems odd. But, we'll see, we'll but she see. seems to be a tra You said the thing they have in common? Yeah. He has a mental disorder, just like Kanye West. He does? Yes. So she, she has his mental disorder. I think it's the same thing. Either bipolar or... Um, That's not good. I don't think he's manic depressive. It might be bipolar. The same, she, I think she's attracted to that. Whatever. Okay, so like the rescuer kind of thing. Maybe I don't know. Or maybe him. she likes the fact that they're not. She likes the fact that they're broken. I can fix him. And then, but who's to say that that's broken? That's just a mental condition that you can live with if you learn how to counsel and do things with. Well, I'm sure there's there's psychiatrists that's sitting back on figuring out. Yeah, what's going on? What's with going these on? Guys. Okay. Okay. So then Courtney says. Um, Kim is much nicer now. Apparently, she likes Kim now. Kim was horrible but with every all the other years that they've been with her. Finally, they can live with Kim. They can talk to Kim. They can. She's not a self-absorbed. Mm -hmm. She's not, you know, all these other things. For Courtney to say that, because Courtney, never, Kim and Courtney fought physically. Really. So for Courtney to say Kim is nicer now, maybe Kim is nicer now. Wow. Um, she said for the first time, Kim says for the first time she feels that she's not chasing any, anything. Mm -hmm. And 40, she said that she heard that 40 is the, you have the best sex of your life when you're 40. Okay. So now Courtney, um, we go to a scene with Courtney and she's going over the candles in her wellness thing. Mm -hmm. They have different names and things like that. And she different scents. These candles, candles she's put together. These are candles scents that she put together. Mm -hmm. And she's going over with her assistant to tell her the scents that she likes and the scents that she don't mm -hmm. like. And then separating the ones she thinks she can collaborate with um, um, Gwyneth Paltrow. Okay. So they bring that back up again. And they talk about again about women working with each other, empowerment, all this other stuff. Okay. Then we go to Chris is nervous about the master class, and she asks Chloe to come over. Chloe walks over right next door. And Chris decides that she wants to take a nice bubble bath and discuss her master class and what she's going to talk about with mm -hmm, Chloe. Mm -hmm. um, she says she's a perfectionist. Now, again, Chloe cracking on Chris. Remember, she cracked on the Emmy earlier. Right. Now she's cracking on Chris getting ready to get in a bubble bath with a martini glass and diamonds. <laughs> and she said, oh, so you, you take baths with martinis and diamonds? And, and Chris said, yes, always. What's so with Chloe, the diamonds? What's with the diamonds? Well, I like Chloe because Chloe is like when you every when y'all doing stuff just for TV, Chloe be busting people out. Remember I told you on um, 
the show we watch in the Dubai. Yeah. With them putting the ice in there and you try to act in the, do in the that. swimming pool. The kids were like, ice. Yeah. And just all the stuff that people don't, you doing it for, for TV. TV purposes. So in other words, she said to her mom, oh, you always take baths with diamond earrings on and martinis in your hand. And Chris said, yes, I do. You know what? <laughs> and these reality shows, you just don't know. So how it's all funny. It's, it's all, all it yeah. That's what I'm, that's what I like about it. Okay. That, you know, she's opening up about we doing stuff for TV, which we already know that. Yeah, you know, I think we yeah. Okay, oh. so now we're learning to step on how. Um, oh, learn to step to get where you want. Step by how to get where, what you want. Chris is going over at the master class on film, mm -hmm. step by step on how to become successful and get what you want. How do you become famous and rich and all these other things? So she gives some more tips. Never give up. Learn how to navigate and have someone in your corner. That's what she said. You should always have somebody in your corner that's pushing you along, mm -hmm. that's behind you, that's positive, that's speaking those and positive you know, a things. Lot of these, uh, a lot of the things that you're saying has been said. Exactly. Learn well, how to thank navigate. Thank you, Kardashian. Now, this part, I agree with her. When she said learn how to navigate the business, a lot of people don't understand that it's a business. Mm -hmm. A lot of music people or musicians mm -hmm. or artists, they get into this, and they don't know it's a business. Mm -hmm. And nobody cares about your talent. You can be the most, you can sing the best in the world. Mm -hmm. You can run notes from the top to the bottom. You can be the best painter, the best dancer, the best actress, the mm -hmm. best. It's a business. Okay. In other words, they don't, your talent, yes, that's good. But it's a business. But you got to know who to rub shoulders with. You got to know who to talk but to. That's why a lot of what dinners work. to attend. All of that. But see, that's why a lot of people probably don't like them. Exactly. Because you're saying it's a business. It's your, a business. Your name right away. Mm -hmm. So how you present, that's a brand. Mm -hmm. That Kardashian name is a brand. Well, here she gets, she just, I talked about it. She says, um, ne oh, now this was interesting. Again, I look at Chris Jenner like E.F. Hutton. When E.F. Hutton talk, I listen. She said, never connect with your audience. That's the opposite of what people say. What people say connect, connect with your audience. Connect with your audience. Hold I think on. it depends on who Hold you are. Hold on. She said, connect with your brand and your followers. She's absolutely correct. Well, what's the difference with the followers an audience, and audience? An audience is anybody watching you. That's an audience, right? Anybody watching you is an audience. Okay. Your followers and your fans are people who like you. Those are people who buy into you. Those are people who will buy whatever you put out. Those are people who will follow you. Those are people, if you, whatever you, they're going to be right on it, I right? Think, so those are the people you should connect with. Connect with your followers think, and your fans. I don't think that's cut and dry. Okay, what do you think? Because I think it's what field of what work you do. Now, we know in the spirit world. No, in no, spirit, in entertainment. Well, even in entertainment. Okay. As far as, I know it shouldn't be too much entertainment when it comes to ministry. Because ministry is becoming entertainment, and that's the problem. But, but I say not you, to connect. With no, them. that's different, Lenora. We're that's talking what I'm about. Yeah. She's, she's talking on she's that talking whole about Hollywood. She's not doing a master class so, on religion, or not even religion. Count, you know, people that 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 um impart in people that give um 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 uh, what's the word when you um those those um. Those uh, workshops. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking motivational about. Motivational. Yeah, she's not doing a motivational speech. Well, that's what I'm like. Yeah. Okay. okay. She's doing, if you want to be just straight cut, successful in the entertainment okay. business, okay. then this is what you need to do. Because that scared me when you said you not to connect with your, um, audience. your audience, but with your followers. With your followers. But this could be the reason why people don't like the Kardashians. Because they don't care about anybody else other than their followers. Think about it. They don't care what you think. Do you? If you don't like me, I don't care what you think. Do you honestly? That's how they think. Do you honestly feel they 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 connect with their followers for what? Because they're making them rich. No, no, they connect with their Do followers. Do I really care? No, no, she's right because that's your brand. You connect with your followers because those are the ones that support you and want. If the, if your fo if somebody who's following you and supporting you says, mm -hmm. I don't like when you said that. You might respond differently. You might say, "You didn't, y'all didn't like when we said That's that." That's why Kim Kardashian got she came it. back because her followers, her followers came back and How said, "I didn't like you say that." Being lazy. Exactly. Now, if anybody would have just said it, she probably would have said, "I don't care what you okay. think." Okay. But her followers said it. 
When her followers say stuff, she listens to. We it. have to be careful with that. But thing. I agree with that. I, agree I with see you. what you're saying. I, I we have to be careful. You want to be a good a lot, person. You don't want to just like connect it, with people that like you. And it's almost like the comment in um. I don't care what everybody else thinks. No, no, the one in um, a Gladiator. Oh, when the crowd, when the crowd, exactly. when you're free. You know what? That's exactly what she just when said. The crowd. When you're free. That's what she just said. In another, in that other was words. A gladiator that was moment. a gladiator. But what she said was what he said in the gladiator. Okay. And it's the truth. Cause the, it doesn't matter. And that's why the king got upset because he wasn't winning the and crowd. Exactly. And it's like the gladiator is exactly. taking my, my, my fame. He connected. He has to go. We, we connected a movie with this. to kill him. He connected <laughs> with his followers, the people that liked him. But he remember was, they was coming talking about it when he was coming out. They were like, "Oh, he's coming out." But you they know, they were his fans. But you know what? In, in all honesty, in the Gladiator, he wasn't doing it to make money per se. I like agree. the Kardashians. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like a natural thing. <laughs> I'm gonna kill everybody so I can be free. You're and saying, the audience was like, "Yeah." You're saying the, the outcome of it. Okay, the, okay. Which is why I said on the last time we did the Kardashian review, uh -huh. y'all look on my old one. Uh -huh. I don't care what Kim does. If she getting brothers out of prison that ain't oh, that should be there, okay, okay. You can do whatever you want. She is, I don't she care. Is doing some good with her platform. Exactly. Okay. So the, I may not agree with all the ways you the get there, clothes but the, and the hair if you're do. doing something with it, the pimple on the Exactly. She's getting people out of prison. I watch okay. them pretend, prison reform. I watch them pretend like they don't know how to do gas. I watch grocery shop. I watch them pretend like they don't know how to grocery shop. I watch Chris say she didn't know nothing about the sex tape. Washing the car. All of that. All of that. Okay. If the final, if it circles all the way back to you getting brothers who ain't supposed to be in jail out, I'm yeah. good. I don't okay. care. I see. I see. But she said connect with your brand. Okay. And your I agree with that. everything. People don't know their brand, though. You got to know your audience. Even, well, even doing this, like even us doing this, I know my audience. But I know who I'm talking to. So if we, you're not the audience, you ain't going to be here because I know who I'm talking so to. So when we run across people in incidents like Monique, Monique is a brand. You know what? Maybe she's, maybe Monique is doing it on purpose. You think? That's her but brand. But I don't think she's burning bridges on purpose. I think she is. That. You know what? So a comedian, you touched on something. It was a comedian who said, and I can't remember who it was. Oh, um, um, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, what's his name? Y'all know who I'm talking that about. Guy? He funny. He be dissing people hard. He said, Monique is older now. Uh-huh. She, it's a lot of young comedians out there, like Tiffany Haddish and all right, of them. Right, right, right. She can't compete with them. But she's in her own lane. But hold on. He says he don't think she's that funny. Ooh. So she can't compete with some more now. But what she can do is she can wreak havoc. And I thought yeah, about that. that really I good. thought about that when D.L. Hewley said she know how to walk on stage and, and torch it. Throw and a walk fire, off. throw the match in, and just watch it burn. And watch it burn. That's her brand. But that doesn't make sense. In a, I can see what you're saying. I think that's her brand. But she's going too far. It don't matter. That's because her the brand. relationships now are. No, no. You would hire her because you want to watch it burn. If you're a promoter, you will say, let me get Monique. Cause she gonna drink, bring some drama. That's why Fifty Cent probably hired her. Fifty Cent know she gonna. Fifty Cent no darn well. Monique gonna do some on that set. That's gonna light the place up and set it so, on fire. So, and he likes that. So her that's his personality. Her brand, you're thinking, and her energy is being used for a, 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 a different purpose. Not so much the 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 Whoopi Goldbergs no, and the uh, Tyler Perry. No. She go in and set stuff on fire. That's Monique's brand. But she's still angry, though. Is she really? No. Because she's still calling D.L. You go, oh, you know my friend, I roasted you. No, she's not. If D.L. called her, Monique could have lunch with him. Monique is a, that's a brand. You think? I, I'm on to you. If she, if she let, watch this anytime in the future, whatever, I'm on to you. Wow. That's a brand. I can't disagree with it because nobody else is doing it. Okay. Okay. So, we back on Chris. Okay. So, she would say, connect with your brand. Mm-hmm. And she says, just because something is authentic authentic to you mm -hmm. doesn't mean it's going to be a success. That was a good one, too. Just because something you like, it doesn't mean that it's going to be successful. What is she using that as an excuse? I don't know. I mean, as just, an example. I guess she was using it as um, people can say, 
I'm being authentic. I'm being my real self, mm -hmm. likable or whatever. It's not going over. And it doesn't going back to Monique. It doesn't mean it's gonna be a success. Just because everybody like you, just because you're authentic, just mm -hmm. because you say what you it doesn't mean everybody's gonna like you. It does I mean it doesn't mean you're gonna be a success. Okay. Because it's authentic. What led me to think, reading into what she said, you could be fake and be a success. Yes, you can. Yes, that's you that's can. the problem with a lot of reality. That's the problem TV. with the Kardashians. That's why some people don't like them. They, they, they say they, they fake. They making money off of being but fake. But she's saying being authentic don't necessarily mean you're going to make money. Going back to what you said, though, mm -hmm. no matter how fake the family may be and whatever, what's the outcome? If she is still getting people out of prison. Yep. That's all I look okay. at. Boom. Um, she said, just looking for fame, people who are just looking to become famous. Mm, a lot of people want. She said, you never succeed. That, that quick, you quick never succeed thing. just to be famous. You never succeed. Chloe jumps in and joins her because she, Chris wants her to come on the set. So she comes and sits next to her mm -hmm. and she talks about how they have family meetings about discussing strategy and the game plan. They don't just make this up as they go. And mm -hmm. I know that too. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people think the Kardashians, oh, they just kind of making up. No. The Kardashians plan. She said, we come together and we plan everything. They know what you're going to say, when you're going to say it, mm -hmm. how you're going to say it, who you're going to say it to. They know who to be seen with, who to talk to, mm -hmm. who not to talk to. How we know all that, of it. With all that being said, how do we know that they don't have a PR person or of person they that's do. helping them? Because yeah, they I don't do. want to. I don't want to sit here and think that she just, uh, just all of a sudden this wise woman. No, no, no. They have PR They had people. to learn this. They learned it. And they wasn't, uh, when their dad was alive, we didn't know nothing about them. And they, you know where they learned it from? Don't forget who they best friends with. The Jackson family. Oh, if you don't yeah. think the Jackson yeah. family know how to put stories out. Oh, yeah. And then turn around and be like, oh, how did that story? Michael Jackson used to call the, the media and say, uh, I'm going to be in this, uh, Michael, I heard Michael Jackson going to be shopping uh, in this store mm -hmm. and he going to be wearing a, a monkey suit. I'm just making up something. He going to be wearing a monkey suit. And then, so if you want to get something about that crazy man, get get the cameras over there. What? And then the cameras show up. They all, the media always talk about me being crazy and being in a monkey suit. You the one told them to come. So with, they plant with the stuff. one, the one kind, of, the one thing that makes me concerned though, when you're dealing with a family, the yeah. Kadar Kardashians is a big family, like the Jacksons. Yeah, yeah. You still can't control incidents like the Michael Jackson with the this boys. This is what's hurting them. So it's like exactly my family member is acting. But this stupid. is what's hurting the Kardashians, mm -hmm. and I'm laughing. Okay. A monkey wrench has been thrown in your plan. And his name is Kanye West. Because <laughs> Kanye is smart, too. And he knows how to manipulate. He knows how to do. After watching that documentary. Kanye's smarter than a mug. That's he's smarter than a tap. I, when I watched that, and we had That's why they call him that. a, a, we a talk, genius. We talked about that documentary, and I learned Baby. some things about that. Kanye man. is smart. At the beginning, the first season, was it three series? The first one, everybody watch it if you haven't seen it. You learn a little bit more about this dude. I mean, yep. he may have some issues. Yeah. But he's smart. There's some stuff going on. That was there. a monkey wrench. And another one, guess what another one is? What? These dang on kids. The Kardashians' kids are getting older. Now they got so they to talking. Say. They going on Instagram. You can't be too transparent um, with them uh, talking George was with running you. around the house live on Instagram. And Kim didn't even know she was on there. And she ran into the room, and Kim was sitting in, and laid, and laid in the bed reading a book. And she said, guess what, Mom? I'm live. Oh, my God. And ran around the whole house, showed everybody the whole house, the kids. whole layout. You got to watch that. And kids. then Courtney has a son, mm -hmm. Mason. He tells everything. Yes. Mason will come on his Instagram and say, I know the last episode y'all saw, she really doesn't do <laughs> She did it. Get, Mason, get off the Instagram. You him in the background. <laughs> Yeah, the kids and Scott has to come to in and say, say, Mason, don't tell everything. He has to try to help the kids. These kids tell him everything. They are. They are. So and they it. never had to they never had to deal with that. Yes. So I'm seeing now uh -oh. they're transitioning. No, no, no. You see now watching this show, they transitioning. They're moving away from not being authentic to being more authentic. Okay. That's why Chloe said Oh, you, you take, take baths, baths with, with the, diamonds, diamonds and with and, uh, and and uh, martinis. Okay, you see what they moving to? Kim with an authentic guy. 
who is real and he doesn't you don't have to wear makeup so she said i can stand here now and i don't have to wear makeup see because she know her daughter gonna soon say you don't look like that every day <laughs> So now they're becoming more authentic because okay. them kids was growing right. up and they talking and they, they never had to deal with that. The kids was hell. The kids, they'll get you, man. Okay. And then you got Kanye. Where they, you at with this? I'm almost done. Okay. Dang. I know it's a long show. With the Kardashians. And we already on an hour. I know. You My right. God, no. So then Kim buys a plane, mm -hmm. an airplane. Mm -hmm. And then she talks about how all of it is customized, light wood. She has two bathrooms in there. The the we upholstery really here, the upholstery is cashmere. Um, she says she don't want shoes on her plane. She's going to create a. That's why people don't like them. Right. She's going to create a custom slipper that you put on when you get on the plane. Pete calls in and she goes FaceTime with him and shows him the plane. And talks about how the bed can in the Does, back. How many planes do they have? No, she just the only one. Has the only plane. one. She okay. just bought it. Okay. She tells him that they could turn the twin bed in the back to a queen king bed. Mm -hmm. He's like, ooh. So um um that's it. And then he sends her a gift um for her first flight in her plane, and she loves. Is this that. really just hers, or is it really the family can do? This is her plane that she bought with her money. So that was basically it. That was the whole show on the Kardashians. Mm -hmm. um, if y'all been noticed, I've been sipping this water. I bought this. Y'all really need it's to look like at it, this. It encourages you. Look at that. I love this. I drank 64 ounces. Didn't even think about it. Mm -hmm. Look at where I'm at now. Mm -hmm. I'm, um, I'm at. She bought it for me, but I don't like drinking from that. It's a straw, y'all. I usually drink my water from a bottle or a cup. I love this. I don't like straw. The only way I can drink water this fast is if it's in a straw. The, the, I don't like, I like straws. I take that back. I'm sorry, because in McDonald's drinks, whatever. I don't like the tip of that. Oh. It's not a straw straw. Okay. It has a funny shape. I love this. I feel like I'm eat like plastic. I love this. So I'm going to, okay. this is going to so get my water you get what works It has for you. lemon in it, which you should drink lemon water. We should yeah. do a show on that. That's true. That's true. All right, y'all. I'll introduce it again with lemon water. Okay. But that was the Kardashians, um, season one, episode eight. Kardashians. I know. We went a long time. She needs to do some more prison reform. She's been into this she will. from SNL too much. So that was it, guys. Did you have anything else? Um, No. So be sure to subscribe. That's the only way I know that's what, what's going on is because you watch it. Right. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to like our videos and be sure to comment down below. Mm -hmm. uh, we're trying to get our channel to grow. So we want more people to watch it. Mm -hmm. You could say you started out with us. You could start off with us before we blow up. Okay. So I'm going to be following some of these things. Chris Kardashian. We'll see Jenner how long this relationship lasts. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, well, I think they're going to get married. I already told you that. I called it first. Okay, y'all. So that was... Another, another Woods, Woods report. report. See you next week with the Kardashians. See you tomorrow with another show.